Stop the presses. The mystery over fake news and alternative facts has been solved. Lo and behold, there really are two kinds of truth and two types of facts. And we must stop the presses, or maybe not, because journalism specializes in one kind of truth as more and more people want the other kind. The first kind of truth for the human race was mythical truth, also called metaphysical truth. It refers to abstract things. For example, a horse is a real thing you can touch and ride around on. A unicorn is something you must imagine. The second kind of truth was born with the pre -Socratic Greek philosophers. They didn't look to myths or deities to explain natural things. They tried to figure out non-metaphysical reasons for eclipses or diseases. There was a rebirth of this sort of truth during the Enlightenment with the advent of science, where we use our senses and advanced tools like telescopes and microscopes to observe nature. The idea that the heavens are perfect and unchanging are truths of the first sort. The observations of Galileo, who used his telescope to see craters on the moon and document other interesting things in the sky, are truths of the second sort. Truths of the first sort are also called emotional truths, truths of the heart. Truths of the second sort are truths of the rational brain. This doesn't mean science knows everything or can give us total certainty or absolute truth. What science gives us is infinite probability. And that's good enough. There's a big problem when emotional truth invades politics. That's when the whole fake news alternative fact situation erupts. I may have no facts to back up my statements, but if I say things that resonate with you emotionally, then you just know I'm speaking the truth. Politicians often speak emotional truth to energize their bases. But when others try to counter those claims with enlightenment truth, we often find that emotional truth trumps, pun intended, enlightenment truth. So why do I say stop the presses? Because journalism is an enlightenment truth operation. It doesn't deal in mythical emotional truth, though it doesn't fail to recognize it exists, and it makes a place for it to some degree by offering alternative views, fact-checking, or pointing out the pitfalls of fake news. Journalism, and I must put that in quotes, that starts with emotional truth, brings you publications like the National Enquirer, which means that far from stopping the plane dealer presses, we should run them full speed 24-7. Because if emotional truth, which varies drastically from person to person and group to group, takes over, we've got an ever-expanding chaos of alternative facts and competing truths. And that's no foundation for democracy.